Hi there. Um, some of you might have seen my uh, Transatlantic uh, DX catches on medium wave with my original medium wave uh, induction loop. Um, the problem with that box antenna is that the box was pretty big. It was about a metre square. Uh, in fact, I think it was slightly larger than a metre square, which is fine except it's pretty unwieldy to um, move around the house uh, to use indoors. So um, so despite the fact that it worked pretty well, uh, I figured that I would make a more compact medium wave loop. Uh, and using the the website, so there's, a, there's like an online calculator where you can put in the dimensions and the number of turns and it will calculate the inductance and therefore the bandwidth. Um, yet last night, uh, in fact last night and the night before, I tried making uh, a couple of new designs, um, but when I plugged them into the SDI, I found that the bandwidth uh, on both of them was uh, inadequate. Both tuned down um, below 530 kilohertz, neither got beyond about one megahertz. So um, I kind of fiddled around with, with the uh, design. Um, taking turns off and then adding turns etc but didn't really get anywhere so but I remembered when I got into work today that um, my company we, we make superconducting magnet coils and the field the, the magnetic field intensity just that, that they generate is dependent upon the number of turns which is obviously then uh, gives you the inductance and so when you're winding a superconducting magnet you need to know what the inductance is of the coil um, and so, uh, and I remembered that we did have uh, an LCR meter on the shelf in our test laboratory. So um, I had a quick word with one of the guys that works with me today, and he pulled it out for me. And here it is: it's a Wayne Kerr automatic LCR meter, DC two hundred kilohertz. Uh, this thing cost like eight thousand dollars new. So to be in a position whereby I can borrow this thing uh, and use it to check uh, my uh, induction loop uh, designs. Uh, I'm very fortunate. So here's another one that I've built tonight. Um, it's about 42 centimeters square. So the, the 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 length of the sides on this is about half of my uh, original uh, induction loop. Um, with a bit of guesswork, well, sort of educated guesswork, and the online calculation uh, that you can put the parameters into. Um, I wound 18 turns onto it uh, and then connected it to the LCR meter and discovered actually I was pretty close and all I actually had to do was it was a bit low on inductance and obviously the inductance goes up the closer the winding so I effectively kind of manhandled it and um, just basically pulled the turns t t uh, together a bit tighter um, than they were and rather than having to add wire I was able to increase the inductance to the target, which is about 240 microhenries. So right now it's 242. And that means that when I um, wire up the tuning capacitor uh, and plug this thing into my um, SDR antenna input, it, it should have the correct bandwidth. So uh, that's what I'm going to do next. But uh, I just thought I'd share that with you. These uh, I don't know if it's possible to buy a cheap inductance meter. It probably is. Um, but as we say in this country, this is a shit hot one. Um, and uh, luckily at the moment, we, we don't have a lot of use for it. So um, I can borrow it. And uh, whilst, I, my, whilst my interest uh, continues in building induction loops, um, I've got a means of uh, uh, checking out the uh, inductance of the, uh, the coils that I'm winding. So uh, yeah, quite fortunate. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, anyway, uh, attach the tuning capacitor, wire up the BNC connector on the uh, uh, on the extra on the extra uh, coil pickup coil, uh, and see if this measurement confirms uh, that the bandwidth um, is suitable for medium wave. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching.